the most strange and dangerous Victorian era beauty trends. Today, we think of the Victorian era as a time of prim and proper etiquette. But what you might not know is that some of the beauty trends of the time were anything but proper. In this video, I'm going to explore some of the most strange and dangerous Victorian era beauty trends. Number 10. The half dead look. Any level headed person would never try to catch a deadly disease on purpose, but during the Victorian era, looking dead was the fashion. Tuberculosis was a disease that took the lives of many, but the Victorians continued to romanticize the disease. Victorian women craved symptoms of tuberculosis. Those who were affected by the disease developed thin waists, pale skin, red lips, silky hair, and watery eyes. Victorian women were so obsessed with beauty that some of them tried to catch tuberculosis on purpose, while others began to consume arsenic. Arsenic is a poison that can kill people. Though toxic, Victorian women started consuming it in small portions to build up a tolerance so that they could slowly increase the dosage. Once people started, they became a slave to the toxic substance, because if they stopped taking it, they'd experience stomach pain, vomiting, and other painful withdrawal symptoms. Number 9. They squeezed lemon juice into their eyes. Victorian women did everything they could to get those watery eyes. They used to put lemon juice or perfume in their eyes as a beauty treatment. They believed that it helped them to keep their eyes bright and clean. It goes without saying that applying lemon juice to your eyes or perfume isn't the most pleasant thing and that would make your eyes very irritated. However, the effect of this method was not very long lasting. Some Victorian women started to use belladonna drops. Belladonna means beautiful woman, but don't let that name fool you because belladonna is also called the deadly nightshade. Women use belladonna to dilate their pupils which they believe make them look more seductive. Belladonna drops had a destructive effect on the eyes and many women lost their sight because of it. You would think that the fear of blindness might have stopped these women, but you'd be very wrong. Number 8. Hiding makeup inside medicine bottles. Victorian women wanted to use makeup but did not want anyone to know because it was considered scandalous and inappropriate. Makeup was something that was associated with the ladies of the night or prostitutes. So if a Victorian woman was seen with makeup, it tarnished her image and she was called a woman of loose morals. That's why women of high stature used to deny wearing any makeup. But if they denied it, how could they get their hands on the cosmetics without anyone noticing them? These women used to send their servants to the nearby town to buy cosmetics. Some businessmen even had secret back doors for wealthy female clients. They often hid the makeup in secret compartments inside their toilet boxes or repackaged the makeup within medicine bottles. Number 7. Constricting Corsets Many Victorian women wore corsets to get the ideal hourglass figure, but the desire to have a tinier waist came with a serious consequence. Women spend hours putting on corsets that grip them with many dangers. Some Victorian women claim to have reduced their waist down to 17 inches. There are reports that show how internal organs were affected because of the tight corsets. The corsets misaligned the spine and also shoved the diaphragm upwards. Major organs like the kidneys, liver, stomach, and intestines also suffered damage. The use of corsets for long intervals led to digestive and breathing problems in many Victorian women. Number 6. Burning Hair Curly hair was very popular back in the day, but the technology was not as advanced as it is today. Tongs were used as the curling irons, but their use was very risky. It was very tricky to use them because it needed to be heated in the fire and applied directly to the hair. If the tongs were too hot or if the timing was not perfect, the result would not be attractive curly hair, but burnt hair that resulted in baldness. Hair was considered the crown of Victorian women and they did not prefer to be bald. But due to the complicated hair curling process, baldness ended up as a common problem for Victorian women. Even if women mastered the process of curling their hair, it was still a lot of strain on the scalp. To counter hair loss, women used bizarre remedies and the most common and dangerous one was washing their hair with ammonia to stimulate hair growth. Exposure to ammonia caused skin burns and loss of sight. Are you finding these beauty trends strange? 
Well, wait till you see number one. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another epic video. Number 5. Combustible Crinolines As if the corset alone was not enough, it was often paired with a hoop skirt called a crinoline. Women of every class wore crinolines, which were heavy and very difficult to handle, especially for working class women because they had to spend a lot of time walking up and down stairs. These fluffy skirts put the women at risk of tripping and falling down the staircase. The Victorian era was a time when candles and fireplaces were used as a source of light, and many women went up in flames because their crinolines caught fire. The New York Times reported that in 1864, 40,000 women died worldwide because of crinoline-related fires. Number 4. Lead to Death by Lead When Victorian women needed to hide freckles or any blemishes on their face, they turned to corrosive face lotions. Companies that made these lotions advertised their products as harmless, but that was simply a lie. And the lotions contained lead flakes. For example, a cream named Laird's Bloom of Youth was very popular in the 1860s, and it helped with discolored and rough skin. Unfortunately, this cream contained a high amount of lead, and it caused a wrist drop and radical nerve palsy in some women. Lead-based powders were also available in the market. They were advertised to work like a charm, but they would seep into the body and eventually cause paralysis. A Victorian woman who used Laird's Bloom extensively would often die of lead poisoning. The company made false claims about the safety of its product, which ended up causing paralysis, headaches, nausea, and muscle atrophy. Number 3. Polishing Teeth with Boar's Hair Back in the day, they did not have crest whitening strips, but people wanted sparkling white teeth. So, they came up with the idea of tooth powders. The ingredients and recipes of tooth powder varied, but the name of some of them might leave you with a bitter taste in your mouth. Soot, coral, powdered cuttlefish, chalk, alum, myrrh, and camphor were common ingredients for tooth powder. But how exactly did people apply this tooth powder? While some women used cloth to polish their teeth, others chose toothbrushes made with boar's hair. Most certainly, the hairs were clean before they were used, but cleaning the teeth by something that might have been covered in feces doesn't sound very hygienic to me. Number 2. Arsenic Baths one of the most bizarre and dangerous trends of the Victorian era was arsenic baths. Arsenic is used as a poison to kill rats, so you can imagine how harmful it is. Women knew that it was extremely dangerous, but at the same time, they loved the way their skin looked after the bath. Once a woman began bathing with arsenic, they would die if they did not continue bathing on a regular basis. They couldn't stop using it, and long-term exposure to arsenic led to kidney, nervous system, conjunctivitis, vitiligo, hair loss, and even growths known as arsenic keratosis. Stop doing it, die. Continue doing it, die. What a crazy gamble for beauty. Number 1. They ate tapeworms whenever they needed to lose weight. If you ever experience problems signaling that you have tapeworms, you are most likely to visit a doctor to get rid of them. However, this was not the case with the women of the Victorian era. Women were always finding ways to lose weight quickly to try newer fashion trends that required slim waists. One way to do this was to ingest a tapeworm that would reside in one's intestines and absorb whatever food the person would eat. Women used to swallow a tapeworm pill that contained the eggs of the slithery creature. The eggs would hatch inside the stomach and the worms that would grow were as long as 80 feet inside. Women who did this suffered from nausea, digestive problems, and abdominal pain just to look thin. The Victorian beauty trends made people drop dead gorgeous, literally. Which one do you think was the most bizarre? Want to see more videos? Then check out this one right here.